What's up everybody? Welcome back to Golf Simulator Videos. We're here today with a really exciting video for all of you E6 Connect golf simulator software users. There has been a huge update to the games section for E6 Connect golf simulator software. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive right into this and show you guys all of these new games. Um, also, I'm going to explain to you along the way that they are part of a subscription package. They have a couple different ways, uh, depending on what you subscribe to, of obtaining this additional content. So we'll go over that. But I just wanna dive right in, give you guys some examples of these new games, show you how they work so you can get a first look at them here right in the channel, all right? As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you comment below and let me know what you think any questions that you have as always make sure you shoot me an email if you're interested in purchasing any golf simulator hardware or software today we're going to be using the unicore ixo that is your dual camera infrared based uh, overhead mounted golf launch monitor all right i've covered it significantly in the channel so go ahead and check that out if you haven't seen that that's what we're going to be using that will be sending the data to e6 connect today so let's go ahead and go over to the software itself because i'm going to dive right into the game section to show you guys what's going on so i go ahead and select my user obviously and then go over here and you're going to see the demolition driving range all right so it actually has a sub menu inside of it so you'll see that there are a lot of new games that you're going to be able to select from you have a lot of long drive uh, games that have been added with new actual driving ranges that I'll show you all right but these games under the demolition driving range actually have some very unique features to them, individual uh, kind of place settings, if you will, of what they are. So the first one is Carnival, the next one's that Demolition Driving Range, and then Battle Stations. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and dive right out to Carnival so I can show you guys how that works. All right, you can see it says the, the flat range is flat, wide fairway designed for E6 golfers to let it fly. I believe this is a generic uh, description for what this is set on. So this is out on the E6 range where they've actually kind of made this carnival setting. Okay, so just understand that. So we'll go ahead and click next. All right, if you wanted to, you could set up any uh, different options along with teams if you're gonna play with teams or change the play time, all right? You get so many attempts and then also a duration. All right, so if you wanna change any of that, you're gonna do that before you click T off and then you'll be good to go. I've already kind of given this a little sneak peek, so I know I'm gonna grab my wedge just for a demonstration here. And then it says, are you ready to play? You hit play, and then it's going to start that countdown timer. Now you'll see that they have all kinds of different yardages set up. Uh, you have the rabbits popping out of the hole, and then you have your 80 yard target way out there. I'll go ahead and give it a full swing right out of the gate for the 80 yard target. I think that it's awesome that they're going down this road and implementing this inside of the golf simulator software because, and you'll see actually, I feel like I pushed that a little bit. See how it's going to the right? I did hit the target just off to the right though. That gave me 80 points, you'll see up in the upper left. Because you have all of the kids and families and everything, whether it be a home golf simulator or whether it be a commercial, that are looking to not just golf. You wanna get everybody involved, you wanna have some fun, this is how you're gonna do it. You're gonna do it with entertainment because you're actually still doing real golf, but at the same time, everybody's playing a fun game they can relate to. I'm gonna to try to hit that 34 yard target out there. Oh, I just actually, yeah, it didn't give it to me because I was just a little short. I'll give that one more try. It has a rocket on top. I'm wondering if that thing actually takes off when you hit it. I didn't catch all that, it wasn't like a good strike. Let's see if I get that a little better. Is that it? There we go, rocket takes off when you hit it. You can see it explode in the air. Um, and then there's things that are further out there, 130 yards, 70 yards up in the air. If you know, and that's what's nice, uh, depending on what kind of launch monitor that you have, I do appreciate the IXO because I can just aim right inside the simulator. Now, if you did want to aim, let's say that I wanted to aim for this target, I can actually move over in that direction with the mini map and then actually aim at that target. All right, so hopefully that makes sense to everybody. I'm just clicking right on the mini map there and that's how I'm changing my target. So you can do that or if you have a launch monitor that allows you to pretty much just aim right inside the simulator, um, I'll aim right over at that 22 yard. Let's see if I can get about 60 feet, a little over 60 feet. And you can see the ball take off right that direction. 
and then I kind of just hit the edge of the hill. It wasn't a perfect strike, um, you know, for that, that small target, but it did give us the points because we hit the hill. All right, so I think that's a good demonstration of the carnival game. We'll jump back out to the main menu here. I'm just gonna go exit round and then main menu, and then we'll go back into games. And then now we're gonna go back under the demolition driving range, all right, because there's that sub menu. And we'll go to the actual demolition driving range first to give you guys a quick example. Once again, game options, teams, and play time if you wanna set them. All right, try to go through this in a reasonable amount of time, not uh, you know jump ahead too fast, but uh, just give you guys kind of a, a brief overview of what all this looks like. Um, let's see if we can hit the gnome out there at like 50 yards. So you can see he's just a tiny bit off center, so I'm just gonna aim a little bit off center. 50 yards, you've got the course marshal cart driving across the range out there. It's at 50. Oh, got him first try. I'll take it. And then you can see what's going on here is the whole goal is, is to, you know, cause demolition. You know, you are uh, essentially blowing up all of the items out here. I love it how they've got like Red Bull cans. It says Red Bolt. I'm sure that, uh, you know, some trademark reasoning there, but um, you know, they have the Red Bull can and dipping donuts and all that. I mean, it's just, just fun interaction for all ages, you know? So um, you guys think, I think you get the idea of what the demolition range looks like. We'll go ahead and click exit round because there's a lot of things to cover here. And I figured this is gonna be a 45 minute video if we spend too much time on all these different games. So we'll go to demolition driving range again, sub menu battle stations, okay. Um, and you can see here, there are some descriptions for certain games. So for instance, it's gonna say your city is under attack. It's up to you to defend it. Launch shots from your battle station to hit enemy ships and uh, choppers uh, before they can fire at your city and deduct points from your score. All right, so if they're firing at you, they're gonna deduct points from your score. Once again, game options and teams if you so choose to play teams, all right? See if I can, uh, I keep forgetting I have to hit play every time, I keep walking over, so something you might want to understand. Now there is a little bit of wind, I don't know if I pointed that out in the beginning. Let's just go ahead and see if we can just aim, oh, that guy's 60 yards, can we hit that chopper? Oh, I just tried to aim right inside the sim and go right over at that chopper. I think that would be a cool one to hit if I could. Let's go one more time at that, oh, he's moving. Let's go to this guy then, 60 yards. Those are gonna be really tough to hit. But you can see I've still got balls going out there and I managed to hit that ship because it landed at 40 yards. So you might even wanna aim at the chopper because if you miss it, you're still gonna have an opportunity to hit the target or boat below. 150 yards, I don't have the right club, but there's that chopper again. Let's see if we can get this. I think I just need to aim a little further right. Oh, that, that's it. Oh, it was just short. <laughs> it was 54 yards. Oh, just a little short. I had it right on, on aim there. Let's see if we can get this guy over here. Oh, I think I just went too far left. I might not even let the IXO uh, lock onto the ball, I think is what happened there. Um, you gotta give it a chance you know, to lock on. You're moving it all around and then you're good to go. Let's see if we can get that little 40 yard target down there. You know, it's funny. Oh, I just missed it, 37.8. This is kind of really making you work on different distances on the fly. There's that 60 yard right there. Oh, he's shooting at me. Is that it? Oh, he lifted up. <laughs> so I, I think that you could just sit here and just play this uh, all the time and just have fresh targets to go for because they're moving all over the place. I could be hitting a nine iron or eight iron out to the 150 yards. Um, and like I said, it's a time-based thing. So it's, it's, it's challenging to move fast. Let's see if I can hit a soft eight iron out there really quick. 150 yards to hit that, that big ship out there. Hopefully it's not too far. I kind of swung after that a little bit. Oh, I felt like I was rushed, you know? Oh, got him, 143 yards. That's gonna sink that big ship down. It hit the side. Now I hit it once. Did it not destroy it? You have to hit it multiple times. Let's go one more time. Another good strike. I was just trying to hit a little bit of a draw. I'm not quite warmed up. 
Oh, I hit him again. I think you have to hit him multiple times or I have to hit him in a certain spot because I've hit that guy multiple times now and uh, it has not taken him down. I'm getting points though, I'm at 195. Notice my points are going down as they're hitting me. This is really challenging. I feel like I can pick up more points. Oh, there we go, I got the guy behind me. All right, so this is, this is a challenge. I mean, you really have to pick your battles here. What do you wanna go for? What do you wanna hit? Um, you know, I got a ton of points for hitting that, that big ship out there. So um, I think you guys kind of get an idea here. I don't want to spend too much time on this. I just feel like this is one of those premier games that they're offering because it's an all new setting, you know, something totally unique. It's not just the driving range. Um, a lot of fun. I'm sure you can get used to it and uh, learn more about it as you play. You know, this is a first look video. I haven't even had a lot of time to uh, mess with these yet. So let's go back into games. And then now let's look at the different driving ranges that they have. So a lot of these are going to be similar, um, just different types of games. So you have a long drive. It just prioritizes the ability to hit the ball long and straight, earn points for keeping your ball from slicing or hooking, okay? Um, once again, you have game options, teams, and the time you wanna play. So 20 attempts, one attempt, whatever it may be. We'll go ahead and tee off. Now this is a notable all new range. So you're going to see an all new range, obviously tons of distance. What do they have, 800 yards down there or something? And uh, I'll just grab an iron again because I'll be honest, I haven't uh, you know, really even warmed up at all. So I don't need to be you know, trying to hit a driver right now. But let's just go ahead and just swing one down there for you guys. All right, a little eight iron so you can just kind of see how the, the flight works and what you're looking at and everything. So hits, gets you points for how far you are um, without going out of bounds. All right, so um, every yard is a point, 92% accuracy. I got 155 points for that. So, you know, if you're worried about slicing uh, or hooking your driver, you could always hit long irons and build up points that way if you're playing against your team. I think that it's a uh, risk reward in this type of scenario. And guess what? What else is risk reward? Gambling in Vegas, right? <laughs> All right, so I think you understand exactly how that works, but uh, you know, very cool. So let's go ahead and exit that, go to main menu. And then I can kind of jump through these. It's not gonna be necessary to play all these. Um, smash hit, game prioritizes the ability to hit the ball long and straight, earn points for keeping your ball once again. So I'll just show you kind of what this looks like. Um, I think it's going to be the Vegas range, I wanna say. So it's just a different format. All right, so just understand, same range, different format. Okay, we'll go back in there one more time. And then we'll go down to, um, for instance, like the ice trolls. Okay, so any target on the range is open for points. Just simply take an aim and see how many points you can get. I'll show you what that looks like really quick. I know we're working on 15 minutes here. So um, this is an all new type range, uh, you know, and you'll see the targets come up, you know, from those little almost like sand looking um, you know bunkers and then uh, obviously ice comes out when those come up you shoot and then obviously destroy all of the different targets all right so we'll go out one more time here just so you guys can kind of see what is there a couple left here you have high score horse 301 billiards and shot for shot so uh, i mean a lot of these are just like if i go into horse you're going to see um, they're use, utilizing different ranges for different games that you're playing. Um, this, this range is being used for horse, and then essentially what you're trying to do is, is just like the basketball game. You take the shot, they try to match it, you build up you know, the, uh, the letters until you're out. So um, that can be a really fun game for people to play, going back and forth. And then um, 301, uh, obviously that's pretty easy to uh, explain. Billiards is a little different uh, where they, it, it's, it's similar to just uh, hitting targets, but you're, you have teams and you have solids and stripes essentially. All right. So I'll just show you what that looks like really quick. And then you'll basically, you know, hit a ball out and I'll just hit one really quick. So you guys at least get an example on this range, um, hit a ball out and then, uh, you know, you sink it. So you'd have solids and stripes. You obviously don't want to hit the eight ball. All right. Just chip it out there. And then when it hits the ball, it sinks it down. All right, so I obviously got that one ball down. 
other a player would go for theirs, um, you know, et cetera. So pretty straightforward on how that works, utilizing, once again, this kind of mountain range that they've created. So um, wanna make sure that that at least covers all of them. Let's go in here really quick and just take one more quick look. I mean, like I said, there's so many in here, um, shot for shot. That's one more um, It allows uh, each other, as far as their skill, will take them. Each player takes their turn and is guided by the game on which target to hit. So the game actually guides you on which target to hit. All right, so let's just go there and just kind of take a look at what, uh, what it does. So it's telling you, hey, hit this target uh, at 144 yards. So I would essentially just grab my nine iron, all right? And you can see how that's a little bit off to the left. So I might just aim just a little bit left and see if I can hit that target. Pretty small target too. Ooh, pulled that one a little bit. I purposely wanted to aim a little bit left, but oh, I still got it. <laughs> I kind of drew it in there and it's gonna give me 10 points. So, um, and then it's gonna give you another one. So, you know, if you were uh, really good at controlling maybe one club, you could keep the one club. I mean, in this case, I would try to hit like a little, little fade with my nine iron if I want to do 136 yards. Come on, Faye, don't draw. Did I get it there? Oh, and I was just short. That's a miss. That's a miss. And then it uh, actually keeps on that target. I wonder if it's until you hit it. So let's go ahead and see if I can do that one more time. I meant to hit just this like a little fade just to try to take off like a little distance. And I don't think I'm hitting it far enough. I think I'm just, I'm taking off too much. Oh my gosh, it's like just short of it, but you get the idea. I mean, that's what you're trying to do. So you can challenge yourself. Do you want to hit different yardages with the same club? Do you want to change clubs? I mean, there's a lot of, you know, things that you could work on there too, not just play the game for points. So understand all of that's available. So I think that covers all of the games. Um, I'll go into the menu one more time, just so you guys can understand. Like I said, there's a sub menu under demolition driving range. That's where you're gonna see carnival, the demolition range and battle stations. And then you have some of the games that you're used to, like closest to the pin and long drive. And long drive, if you just wanna play the standard long drive, you can now use the long drive range. Okay, so understand that that like Vegas style range is available now. Okay, and then um, you have your Vegas, you know, long drive, smash hit, high score, um, horse, 301, billiards, shot for shot. Okay, so all those are in there. And then what I'd like to do is, is I'd like to pull up uh, just the notes that I have so you guys can understand how this works. Okay, so just as far as, you know, subscriptions and everything go, understand that this is what's gonna happen. So um, all mini games will be included in the expanded subscription. So if you have an expanded subscription to E6 Connect Golf Simulator software, you're going to get all mini games. Okay, some mini games will be included in the basic subscription and it will have a rotating content library that you're used to with the golf courses. So you know they bring in the one course, all right? You're gonna, if you do a basic subscription, they're gonna rotate one mini game for you, all right? In time, there will be an option to purchase the mini game package as a standalone product. So if that's something that, you know, you're not a subscription purchase person and you want to, uh, let's say you have a permanent license of E6 uh, Golf Simulator software, then you could just per, uh, permanently purchase the mini games. All right, so um, just understand that they're coming with that. They don't have details on that yet. All right, games are broken down into uh, two distinct packages, the demolition driving range, which I showed you, and then it has the sub menu, and then the range games. All right, so. The featured game this month is the Demolition Driving Range. So understand that uh, for both basic and expanded subscribers, you're going to have that Demolition Driving Range that we showed you today. All right, so uh, very cool stuff. I mean, all kinds of things, obviously, coming to E6 Connect Golf Simulator software. And like I said, I'm a big fan of games. I just think you can get the kids and the family, everybody involved. So um, I'd love to know what you guys think, so make sure you comment below. As always, please like the video, subscribe, I appreciate it. Make sure you email me if you're looking for any type of golf simulator hardware or software. I appreciate it, love helping everybody out. Uh, partners have wholesale access to everything. So it doesn't matter if you're looking at turf or screens or projectors or any type of launch monitor. Um, love connecting people and helping them out with that. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned. There'll be a lot more coming soon.